Hey there, I'm headed to Fukuoka for two days during Japan's Golden Week. Fukuoka is known for its laid back vibe, delicious food, and home to one of Japan's biggest festivals, Hakata Dontaku. Taking the Shinkansen during Japan's Golden Week is an experience in itself, as it's one of the busiest times for travel. Once I arrived at Hakata Station, the festive celebrations were happening right outside. Hi, I've just arrived at Hakata Station. The music from Tenjing Street reached my ears long before I saw the parade. Fukuoka really comes alive during Golden Week, with over 30,000 people gathered to celebrate. The parade is known not just for its size, but for its history stretching back over 840 years. Among the crowd, you will see many performers clapping the shamoji, wooden spoons used in cooking rice. The tradition comes from a housewife busy preparing a meal, rushing out to join the passing parade. Not far from the parade is Kushida Shrine, one of Fukuoka's oldest Shinto shrines with a rich history dating back over 1200 years. Fukuoka is renowned for its distinctive cuisine, considered some of the best in Japan. Thanks to its coastal location, fresh seafood is everywhere. Nice yeah, Squid. Nice. One of the city's most famous culinary offerings is tonkatsu ramen, a specialty known for its rich pork broth and thin straight noodles. The world famous Ichiran Ramen, which originated here, still has its first shop in the city. A visit to one of the many ramen stalls in Hakata is a must, where you can savor the melt in your mouth chashu pork that tops this delicious dish. The next day, a 30-minute train ride away from the city took me to Nanzoen Temple, home to Japan's largest reclining Buddha statues. Mm -hmm. 
The statue depicts Buddha at the moment entering into Nirvana, symbolizing complete peace and detachment from the physical world. The temple ground is beautiful and will whisk you away to another world. Each corner of the garden offers a new vista. Traditional bridges arching over koi ponds, shrines for prayer, and moss-covered statues that seem to hold centuries of wisdom. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time.